Good morning guys. How the devil are we this morning? It is Wednesday the 22nd of November I hope. Um, welcome to our my trucking life as ever. I want to start by showing you this nice little bit of parking by Mr. Flyby Night last night. I didn't even hear him arrive. But he's done alright to get in that gap because the van was already there and I was too. We are taking these little house frames down to Melksham this morning. And uh, last night after I put the video up and I'd been in bed around about an hour, you know, chilling out and uh, watching YouTube and everything like that, it suddenly dawned on me that I haven't actually put my other twinklies up. So, I've whacked up my other Christmas lights. Um, they're rather bright, but they're not in view from the front. So, I'm not sure if I like them there, but we'll have to wait and see. And I'm pretty sure someone passing in another truck won't see them either. They might just catch the back ones, but I'm not sure, because um, I don't want to cause a distraction to other drivers, but if you've seen other drivers cabs at night, then, you know, a few little fairy lights like that is nothing to worry about. You're just going to wait for me to pull around you? Yeah? Is that when you're going to start to drive? What are you actually doing? Do your head in, they absolutely do your head in, don't they? Oh, you want to overtake no one now? Genius! George Ward Gardens. Turn right. Doesn't ring any bells. Oh yes, I remember. We uh, turn right here and then reverse back round to the left. I'll just go left instead. Ah, oh, damn. I was going to turn right, but a lady came to turn into my road just as I got there, so... Never mind. What we'll do, is someone already unloading, which is good. We'll try and find somewhere up here, out the way. And then we'll reverse into that compound there. Lovely. All right, a bit of a plan change. We're not going to be tipping in that compound after all. That's where we unloaded last time. Um, we just put it on brake. We was going to be sat there while that tipper unloaded. Not the tipper, sorry. The brick lorry. But um, now the forklift driver came down. He says, oh, you can unload down here, mate. Which is lovely. We haven't got to sit around. Now, I don't know if he wants me to reverse down there or just... Hey, I'll drive across the gap, I'll imagine. Right, so he's just taking them ones off now. I had to give you a bit of money to action. I'm sure you're all aware about Luke's situation. So I'm going to endeavour to try and bring you as much more loading and unloading where possible. But that's pretty much all we're going to be doing. Going forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. No, you 
you can pass. But at least he's taking the full stack. So it's just one more lift. Right, empty now. Uh, I've spoke to the gods. We're going to be heading back up to the house factory. Right, we've actually stopped at Michael Wood Services instead. We could have made it to Strensham, but it would have been a bit close, so we've played it safe. And uh, yes, I've ate most of my munchies. So unfortunately, we're going to have to go into the services and get something to eat. So Michael Wood gets the chance to give me wood this morning, I tell you. <laughs> He's going to be going in dry while I pay about £17 for a cup of coffee and a, a burger bap or something. <laughs> oh dear. Ah oh well, that wasn't too bad after all. I think it was about £8.45. Without advertising, we've had something around about 12 inches long. Okay, let's go. There's a hidden gem amongst the services, so if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll see a bit of a beaut. <laughs> I'm gonna slow down for it anyway, actually. Absolutely glorious. 143, 450 there. Streamline. Beautiful. Oh, what have we got here? Police escort on this massive load here. What the hell is this? I saw the blue lights ahead and wondered what it was going on. I don't know whether there was a lane shut or summer. But this is fantastic. Oh, I know what it is. It's my dear's Easter egg. It's my dear's Easter egg. I wonder if that's why the A40 was shut this morning. Um, when we was coming up the M5, sorry, coming down the M5 this morning, it was saying, there was something, come on mate, just move over. How slow can you move across, buddy? Uh, what was it? It was saying that the uh, A40 was shut. So there's a good chance it might have been closed for those guys to move up here. Shout out to the white MAN, giving me a good flash and a wave. Lovely load of uh, caterpillar tracks you've got there too as well. going swimmingly our trailer was ready we've got it all strapped up we then had our half an hour break we then left with what we thought was our paperwork we got onto the M42 and then we had a call off the gods we forgot our paperwork and initially I thought, yeah, I left them in the canteen when I got my drink and then I looked behind me and I had actually got them, but they're the wrong ones. So we're going to lose around half an hour going back to go and get them. Right, guys. We have got our own paperwork now. Problem solved. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. 
And that's 42 minutes used up. Luckily, this isn't the half eight one. Now, at that time, it could have been a lot more needed. So, let's try again, shall we? 231 miles, list guard, 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Say 10 o'clock so we can have a break before we go in and tip. Well guys, we are back on Michael Wood Services. Um, I was due to give a load of, a once over anyway, but just before we was about to pull on, uh, a Range Rover's gone past giving us a big beep. So I don't know whether it's because of either something on the load, oh, but nothing looks untoward. So he might have just been angry that I was overtaking someone. But anyway, this is what we've got. Some of the spangly packs. So I've put two across and one from the front to the back. And then we've got the roof packs on top of spangles as well. Oh, these are still tight. I don't even need to tighten any of these up. So I can't really see any reason. I can't really see any reason why he's beeped his horn at me. Nothing wrong with the load anyway. I did notice that this pack, this frame here, this tiny piece, wasn't being grabbed by any, anything. So I've took it off and put it on the back separately. Gave it its own special strap. So uh, yes, we've got about another hour worth of driving to do. And uh, that'll be our golden hour used up for today. So, um, yes, I'm going to end today's vlog here, I think. Uh, tune back in tomorrow to see how far we made it. Let me know what you think about these lights. I'm not keen on them. I think it'd be better if they were both green. But, um, anyway. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a nice evening, and I'll catch you all next time, guys.